and we are recording. Nothing bad. Oh, sure. <laughs> Call me, beat me if you want to reach me, if you want to page me. It's okay. Never, whenever you need me, baby. Call me, beat me if you want to. Call me, beat me <laughs> if you want to reach me. <laughs> doesn't matter where, doesn't matter when. Doesn't matter when. I will be there for you too. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nicola. If you are new, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe on your way out. You can click the little um, little bunny rabbit that is in the corner over there to subscribe. And if you're old, you already know what it is. Thank you so much for being here. So today's video is going to be another like review slash first impressions of an item. And I went and picked up the new collab between YouTuber Irishelle, love Irishelle baby, love her, and Elf. They came together to create this lip palette you see here. And I had to, I went to my local Elf store and picked me up one because I love her and why not? It came with this little also um, kind of like a makeup bag and it has her little like tag right here. If you guys can see that. And on the inside, what I'm really excited about is on the inside, there is a space, there's little like grooves, dang, you guys can't tell, but there's little grooves in here to hold your brushes and stuff so they're not like all jumbled up with the product, which is really nice. So if I'm going away for a weekend or something, I'm not gonna carry like my entire makeup collection. So this is something cute that I thought was really nice for buyers to get once you got the product. Um, it retailed, this entire thing costed me about $16. I'm not sure if it was because it came with the bag or not, but this kind of duo set was $16. Okay, so this is how the lip palette looks on its own, and it has six different lip colors in it. It is claimed by her that it's all kinds of nudes and pinks, perfect for all skin types. Now you know that's a bold claim to be making. So we are going to swatch every one of these bad boys and see how they come out. Oh my gosh. So it's definitely, in terms of packaging, it's slender, it's thin, very similar to the Rose Nude Eyeshadow Palette from e.l.f. They took that same kind of sleek, really minimal kind of feel to it and it has, you know, Iris Berlin Lip Palette Mis Amores, which is, look at that guys, look at that. I looked crazy just now. All right, then let's open it up. I hear something in here, so I hope it came. I was telling my best friend that I hope it came with a lip brush. I have a lip brush just in case it didn't come with one, but we're about to see. Okay, so it comes with a lip brush. And one thing I'm noticing off the back, the product sweats. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen that, but I don't know if you can see that right there. Yeah, the product definitely does sweat. It comes with a little lip brush, which is nice. So I have a second one, but I'm just gonna end up keeping that in there. I'm going to use mine because it's a little bigger in um, size and I have bigger than normal lips. So it's gonna cover more space. But this is the one that it came with, which I think is really nice too because let's say you're like me and you've never used a palette or some, you know, something that requires a lip brush. If you didn't already own one, don't worry, you're gonna get one. Okay guys, so I went ahead and zoomed in so you guys will be able to see the color at its finest and I removed the lip gloss I had on. I had on NYX's Angel Food Cake, which is one of my favorite glosses, by the way. But I had that on, so I went ahead and took that off. So we are gonna try all of the colors from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. So it's gonna be from this purple color all the way down respectively. So, because I don't see names for the colors, Something interesting I do see on the back is that it says creamy textures are packed with pigment and infused with grapeseed oil, shea butter, and coconut oil to help condition and nourish the lips. So leave it to a Latina to really in like implement coconut oil and everything in shea butter, grapeseed oil. If this stuff is true, then this, this this definitely should be a very creamy palette. But as for the names of colors, there are no names of colors, so we're just gonna start from this purple color all the way down. So right off the back, I can tell you guys that it does live up to the claim of being creamy. 
This is as creamy as it gets. Second, the scent is amazing. I wasn't expecting it to smell as good as it did, but it definitely does. One thing I am worried about is that I don't know how long these kinds of palettes last. I am a creature of habit, so once I find a color I like, I dig back into that, and I don't know how, I don't know how long um, it'll last, but just from packing on this purple color, this is really pretty. Also something I'm noticing from removing it is it removes very easily, very easily, without much tug and pull, a couple swipes and it's off. So the lip palette comes with two reds and we're gonna dig into this first red right here. We're trying color number three in the palette, which is this brown color right here. Oh no, I like this. Oh, ooh, I like this. Ooh, y'all know Nandy is a nudes girl. Ooh, ooh, I might go back and buy another one of this palette just to get this color. This is my kind of, ooh, 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 this is nice. I like this, I like this, mm. Moving on to color number four, which is this more peach color right here in the palette. We're going into color number five right now, and it is this second to last very light pink color right here. So one thing I'm noticing with this second to last color is that it is definitely the most opaque and most pigmented of all the colors. Color guys. Alright guys, so that's all of the colors in the palette. Um, as for my official review of the palette, I really like the consistency. It lives true to name when it says it's creamy and it's nourishing. One thing I noticed when I was going between colors and doing one after the other, my lips didn't feel dry or cracked. So I definitely attribute that to its nourishing kind of power that it has or that it claims to have. So if that's something that you need in your lip color, you need it to be creamy and moisturizing, I would definitely look into purchasing this. Um, I will link it down below. I'm going to see if there's a difference between having it with the little makeup bag that I got and not having it. I'm not sure if that's just a deal pack or if I was just lucky today. So definitely check the description box below for that info. Also make sure to check out my last video. I did a review of the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I will link that also down below. Don't forget to subscribe, a like on your way out, and until next time guys, peace.